everybody, Caleb here. Today, we're talking about New Year's resolutions. We're talking about, you know, those things you made yesterday, and it's uh, January 2nd, in the back of your head, you're like, man, I'm not going to do that. And that brings us to today's sponsor of the video. We are sponsored today by gym memberships. You see gym memberships, they're this amazing thing that for January 1st through probably February 2nd, if they're lucky, you've signed up for you're fully committed to. They're pushing those ads really well. They're saying no sign-up fees, low monthly payments, and all they want is for you to pay for six months because they know you ain't coming back. So today's video is sponsored by gym memberships, the things that don't pay off for you and still do not pay me. So thank you guys so much for checking this out. And we are talking about New Year's resolutions, though. We're talking about what you are doing now. For myself, I'm usually not a New Year's resolution guy. I've tried before. Um, me and my wife last year were like, we're going to wake up every morning at 6.30 and go work out. And you know what? For two weeks, I felt fit. But you know what? After two weeks, I felt tired. So I stopped doing it. And uh, my wife still was going to the gym. She started going later in the day, all this stuff. We just weren't working out as much together. But we made a resolution. We didn't stick to it. Um, for me personally, what I usually do is me and my wife will usually have a time in the year where we'll kind of set aside maybe like a 21 day period to do some form of spiritual discipline like fasting. Um, you know, whether it's usually when I talk about fasting, I almost always mean it to relate with food. So it might be fasting, it might be abstaining from like TV, from choosing not to like use social media, stuff like that. So we, we try to do something like that. And that's kind of, I think, our version of New Year's resolutions. But man, New Year's resolutions are so weird to me because you make like on January 1st, you're like, man, this is the day. Like it's going to like boost me into something new. I'm going to like be vegetarian, vegan, like... I'm gonna start planting trees every single day. I'm gonna donate half of my money every single month. And then you get like a day in and you're like, holy cow, this is so difficult. Like I can't do this. Now, I really just wanna talk about the concept of New Year's resolutions. Like why did they become a thing? Because it's really hard to make a decision on something and if you weren't willing to do it before, you're probably not willing to do it now. And just because it's a new year doesn't mean it's a new you because you're still you. And so you made that choice. You're like, I'm going to step into this. I'm going to start doing this. I'm going to feel good about myself. And then you step into it and you're like, I wasn't passionate about this a month ago. Why would I be passionate about it now? Now, here's where I fall down on all of it. You need to be passionate about what you're resolving to do. A resolution. You're making a resolution. You have an amount of resolve. You're trying to step into something. If you're not passionate about it, if you don't care about it, you're not going to do it. So like if your life doesn't show that you actually care about fitness or you don't care about keeping yourself in shape, like, and that's not me trying to like say anything bad to anybody. It's just reality. If you don't care about that, you're not going to do it because it's the 1st of January. You're not going to be able to launch into this thing. It really could happen any day of the year. You just got to make that choice. It's kind of like yesterday's video, man, I'm realizing, but it's just true. It's just true. You got to make that choice yourself. So when you're making those New Year's resolutions, when you're seeing those good deals, because honestly, gym memberships, they are cheaper right now. And like when you look at certain things, they're cheaper right now because they're trying to act upon people that are wanting to start into something because they know that you won't stick with it. Well, if you're able to resolve to do it and do it, go buy all that Nike gear that you really wanted and go get to the gym. I honestly keep thinking of gym ones. That's the only reason I'm belaboring that. But like you want to read a book every single day, like something like that every single month, week, I don't know. But you're wanting to read every day. You go and you end up buying some books. Like just get resolved about it. Like actually make a resolution and stick to it. Like actually make a choice and, and just do it. And so that's all I had to say on that. Resolutions are kind of funny because they're not actually revolved around passion. They're like revolved around cultural like assumptions on what you should do at the start of the year. That's just my thought. But right now, comment down below your New Year's resolutions. Like, what are you guys doing? Maybe for some of you, instead of having a resolution, you pick like a word for the year. I actually think that's super beneficial. When you look at something, you say, hey, I want to have a word that kind of defines my year. It's a lot easier to have that be something you're doing um, and trying to live by. And so figure that out. Like, what's your resolutions? Comment them down below. Um, maybe comment even if you had some like funny stories about resolutions working, not working, like when they went horribly wrong. I don't know. Just like something be kind of entertaining for us as a community just to continue to grow in and learn more about. And uh, yeah, this is day three. Day three of the 60 day challenge.
So thank you guys for checking it out. Thank you guys for being here. Uh, I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. And we're going to be talking about not New Year's stuff. It was just the first two days of the New Year. So I was like, let's talk about it. And uh, I hope your gym membership is good. I hope it was discounted and cheap. And I hope that you're able to cancel it before your second monthly payment if you're not going to use it. So thank you guys so much for today. Appreciate you so much. See you tomorrow. Bye.